who are we to advocate on a certain issue? Why is it us um, who raise a certain issue, who talk to decision makers, who reach out to the parliament or to um, a legal committee or, or to a private company? Um, I think that's a very important question we have to ask ourselves when we start advocating. What is our legitimacy to talk about this? Um, and how credible are we? Do we have like good experience we can refer to? Do we have solid evidence? Do we have facts and figures? Do we talk about our own experience and practice? Um, or, we, or do we just talk on behalf of someone else? So I think if it's about policy dialogue, advocacy for small and medium business in Eastern Europe or anywhere else, it is so important that people themselves, that these companies, um, that these enterprises, they really take a lead and that they advocate on their own behalf, that they do not just delegate it to someone else, to a development initiative, to uh, to to another specialized company, but that it's them who, who speak up and who, who raise the issue. In Kyrgyzstan and Central Asia, we used to have a, uh, a development project in the agriculture sector. It's about irrigation, improving irrigation infrastructure at, at the municipal level in communities in the south of the country. And we have been working with, uh, with these people, with the municipalities and with local farmer organizations for, for many, many years, helping them to improve the irrigation and the, the whole maintaining the infrastructure. At a certain point, we and our partners um, realized that this is not sufficient, but there are laws at the national level that need to be revised because they hinder effective collaboration at the local level and they hinder um, sustainable irrigation practices. Um, so we had a dialogue with the farmers, with local organizations, with representatives from municipalities, and they really wanted to take up this issue at the national level. Um, they formed a so-called initiative group and they started advocating towards national policymakers just to raise their awareness about the problem and to make them aware that there is a kind of a legal gap that needs to be addressed by the national parliament. And it was never Helvetas or any other development NGO and leading on this initiative, but it was really a group of farmers, women and men from these communities. It was representatives from the municipal administration, from legal councils, um, who went to the capital city and to talk to decision makers. They raised their voice at, at national roundtables and conferences. And it was the like ordinary farmers, so to say, from the field standing in the capital and speaking about these issues. And that was such a strong message because they were really, um, it was their own problem. They owned the problem and they were so credible and convincing that they really managed to convince decision makers to take the issue up and to start working on, on a legal reform.